I've just finished the Learn to Play Jeff Beck DVD. Um, one of my big heroes, and I think we've been long overdue at Lick Library for taking a look at Jeff Beck. And, and it's landed on my plate, um, and I've, uh, I've done my best with it. Obviously, anybody who checks this DVD out will know what they're getting. You know, it's definitely for an intermediate to advanced player. Um, and I'm trying to demystify what he does a bit, because it does seem like it's covered in mystery how he does it. Um, and it is covered in mystery how he does it. It is fantastic what he does, but um, if you actually see someone, I don't know, like myself from Lick Library trying to copy what he does, you can actually break the code of what he does, and even if you don't get all of it, you can get some of it in your playing, and it'll make you sound like a better guitar player. Simply, simple as that. My favourite track is, uh, well, I would say Where Were You, but I, you know, I've lived with that track. I've lived with that track for a long time, you know, for 20 years, but, uh, but I've kind of forgotten about Two Rivers, and it's not until we kind of decided to do Two Rivers I realised how, just how lovely that track is. It just sounds epic. Uh, and uh, you know, how he's played that, with, it's just all harmonics. And so it's interesting, just from that point of view, if you can actually start thinking about using harmonics in your playing actual, you know, just using the bar to tune the harmonics to, uh, to how you want it to sound. But that's, a, that's probably my favourite track from this DVD. Two Rivers and Where Were You, um, for me, are the most difficult. Not, not, it's not that I can't play them, it's just that when you've got a camera in front of you, you've, you've got to, you haven't got the luxury of being in a recording studio, you've got to kind of do it almost in one take. And it, Jeff Beck is the first to admit that when he recorded Where Were You, it was a nightmare to get it absolutely perfect. So, I mean, I hope I've got it 95% of the way there, and if I haven't, I'm sure people will kind of forgive me because they know there's so many, you know, tiny little inflections with the whammy bar, you know, for, for tuning harmonics and playing harmonics. And Where Were You is a, is a complete top of the tree, uh, you know, how to play harmonics exercise. The, uh, another track we looked at was uh, Cosby Ended As Lovers. Now that's a very old track and it's probably been tried and tested, but uh, probably not in this context. You can probably, there's not a kind of a film of a tuition of how to play that track. Um, so that is, I, I, we wanted to do that one because that one is more traditional in that there's no whammy bar. It's playing with a pick and it's all kind of this hand with your vibrato and your string mending. Uh, so we had to get something like that from the early, you know, the early Jeff Beck. So I think it's a nice contrast for those who are going to struggle with the whammy bar stuff. It's nice to actually, you know, learn to play that song.
Another track we did is a big favourite of mine, uh, Big Block. Um, I did that because I've seen him do it live so many times. Uh, and, I, you know, it's, it's nice to actually be, to learn, for myself, to learn how to play that. I've watched him do it and there's, there's a couple of things in there that kind of, sometimes he skips over live. Like the fast kind of, uh, the fast brass run in the middle of the song. Sometimes he just leaves that to the keyboard and, uh, uh, and just kind of makes some noises over it. But I've actually kind of, kind of illustrated what he's actually done on that original recording from uh, um, Guitar Shop. But the, this guitar sound in Big Block just sounds like a Big Block V8. It's, it's, it's a huge kind of sound. Um, so that's a, I think a lot of people will get a lot of pleasure out of learning how to play that one because it's a real biggie for Jeff Beck. It's a real you know, milestone track for Jeff Beck. The other track we did was uh, off the Who Else album, which is Brush With The Blues. Um, a live, that's the live uh, recording, everybody knows that live recording on that album. And I have kind of taken you through the live recording and on the performance of it, um, I've had some artistic license in that there's so many versions of him playing that track. He never plays the same, he never plays it the same way twice. So I've taken little ideas that I've picked up um, and kind of, when I've seen him do it, and I've kind of put it all in one kind of performance, or the ideas that I'm using in the performance are from Jeff's uh, approach and his licks, and I've kind of tried to kind of put a few of those in. But the actual, the teaching of it is the original uh, Brush With The Blues off that album. It's a great track. It's the, the technique mainly on this DVD is what, how he's been playing for the past 20 years, which is, you know, the whammy bar and fingers. So I've done a little tutorial um, on how to maybe start thinking about doing that. But this is specifically five Jeff Beck songs and how he's done them. And I've tried to copy the sounds and his approach. And if this, uh, if this DVD proves popular, I'd love to do a Jeff Beck, uh, learn to play Jeff Beck number two, because, you know, there's, since, uh, since these songs, there's been, you know, some really good stuff we should do from the last two albums. Definitely. And it's going to be a challenge, but uh, this was a challenge as well. Can't say it was the easiest DVD shoot I've ever done, but we got there. <laughs>